What's up everyone? So I figured I'd do a video a little more personal this time versus my usual spiel on fish and stuff. So a little bit of a get to know me if you will. And why did I start YouTube? But uh, before we start, I gotta show you this ghetto thing I do. Look at this. You don't see that? Oh, this ain't easy for me, I'm a big man. See that I got hospital socks with flip flops. It's bad enough with socks with flip flops, but hospital socks? Whole nother level get them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know, I, I wrote something out and I was like, man, this is it's not natural to just read what you wrote. And uh, you'll still see some editing in this video, I'm sure, because <clears throat> I stumble a lot when I make videos, and so I gotta cut it and edit it. But uh, hopefully, this will go smoothly. You know, the real one had some jokes about I started it for being uh, to be uh, rich and famous and stuff like that. If I were a rich man. But uh, yeah, so this the real reason I started doing YouTube, I think was mainly because the fish fam and the YouTube community and the fish fish community, you know, people that are surrounded like uh, Aquarium Co-op, Steam Fight Aquatics, those guys. Um, I saw you know, so many people interacting with each other, being positive, and doing jokes, and, uh, you know, making new friends, and I wanted to be a part of it. And I don't always get to join the live streams as much as I want to, so I thought, hey, I could do a channel, I could share some of my stuff, I could see, I could get to meet some new people that way, and, uh, yeah, it was kind of a bright spot in this world, you know, because... When you go to the news or even websites nowadays, there's just so much negativity on there. I mean, stuff that you don't want to read on a daily basis. Could it be about school shootings or or the racial conflict or Donald Trump's situation? Anything on there. It just kept on being more negativity. And what happens is in your life is if you get too much negativity, it rubs off on you. And that's what this community has done. It's brought some positivity in my life outside of just my family. And it was uh, it was really needed, so I was really happy to find my spot here on YouTube. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. <clears throat> now, when I first started, though, I was like, eh, I'm just gonna document some things and put them up on there so people could see them and maybe get some use out of them. And I quickly realized I can't just throw something up there because uh, I immediately started learning how to edit and wanted to buy more gadgets for YouTube. I bought a mic, which I'm actually not even using now because I forgot to hook it up. So hopefully the sound's coming out all right in this video. But uh, I forgot, lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? Yeah, so what are my hopes to come, that comes out of this now? I mean, after I, you know, I started doing videos and stuff, uh, you know, I hope to continue doing these things because it's... It's a lot of fun. Uh, YouTube can be a lot of fun. At the same time, it can be a little stressful at times. But more than anything, it's fun because I want to see these people's fish rooms anyway. So I would love to do tours. And I love to see fish stores. So when you're obsessed with the hobby and you're already doing a lot of this stuff, why not record it and share it with people? Um, and that's what, I, what I'm doing. Uh, would I like to be successful at this to where I can make some money? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see this being a, a profitable situation for me, really, but I'm hoping I can make enough money to maybe, uh, you know, help make put stuff towards the YouTube channel. Uh, for example, like I bought this camera that I have, and that's all out of my own pocket because I haven't made any money from YouTube yet. But, I mean, that's not a big deal, but yeah, it'd be nice to make a little money to put towards either YouTube or towards the hobby, you know. And, even more amazing would be to make enough money to where I can go to something like the aquatic experience. I think that's most fish keepers' uh, dream right there if you're not nearby. Um, you know what other things? Uh, hmm. Another thing that I hope comes from my channel is there seems to be a perception about fish keeping, especially if you're not like a cichlid keeper. I don't know, cichlids seem to be like the, the pit bulls of, of, uh, <laughs> of fish keeping, if you will, because. People that are tough want cichlids or monster fish, you know, and, uh, you know, community fish are, are frowned upon or are almost uncool. So I hope uh, that kind of changes as, 
we grow as a community. And that's another thing that's beautiful is the fish family just continues to grow and I continue to meet new people, which is awesome. And I really appreciate everyone who constantly comments. <clears throat> it really motivates me to continue doing videos. Um, and I love getting to meet new people and also like consistently talking to the same people because I, you almost built a friendship and friendships like that are uncommon for me because I don't really have friendships online. I like to make real life friends, so the online friendship is still new to me. Uh, on top of that, I don't even do social media typically and now I got YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Facebook's kind of kind of new for me, but yeah, I, I don't I don't really get into this stuff, but now, you know, this, this has opened other uh, doors or for me, you know, I, I, I'm more interested into these in, in social media now because of the, the community that we have. And uh, yeah, I think that's the main reasons I started doing this YouTube channel was just because meeting new people and getting a little positivity. Um, so thank you guys and until next time.